think a hard part of planning was the fact that it was in a different location, being at Francis House Central. It was also outside, which we haven't done before. Like coordinating it with Francis Hall Central, especially to get all of our decorations there. All of our vendors had to bring things there. And then they also had, um, the space was reserved for Junior Spartans football that day. And so we couldn't get into the space until about three o'clock to start setting things up. 100 or 200 students helping us, like for the entire day on Saturday and even Friday night. And we really only had three hours with none of our students because they were all getting ready for the dance. And so we had some really awesome parent volunteers. Yeah, I think in the future, if we know that it's gonna be outdoors, um, I think we would try to make sure we have the space reserved all day, uh, which would help to be able to allow students to help us decorate. We had to rely on teachers and um, parents mostly because it was so close to the start time. Yeah, I mean, COVID changed the location. So the district decided after the CDC rules came out about there's a lot less spread of COVID when you're outdoors. Um, that was when they decided we can go ahead and have a homecoming, it just has to be outside. Um, and then um, I felt good about that, like better than being in a gym. Um, it was it was outside, but then people were able to be unmasked if they were comfortable and, and felt pretty good about that. And so, um, but we've never planned an outside homecoming before and I've been doing this for 19 years. And so that was, that made it brand new. Beyond that, there were some smaller things that came up related to COVID with students maybe buying tickets and then getting COVID or being quarantined because of COVID. So we had to do some refunds based on that. Um, and then we also had to have a principal in charge of contact tracing to determine who could come into the dance if they were just getting off of a quarantine. We didn't know all summer if there was gonna be a homecoming. So we didn't find out until we got back to school that there was. And then of course it's three weeks into the year. So it was really like scrambling to try to get it all figured out. I mean, the kids were wonderful. Student council leaders were wonderful and did a great job with it. But we didn't know until we were back at school if it was gonna happen. So we had, we sold just over a thousand tickets. And I think we had probably about 60 to 70 people who didn't come um, because we checked people in. So I knew that afterwards how many didn't get checked in. So I would say just under a thousand were there. We certainly will want to have a snow coming. I don't know if we'll have to reimagine that because it's a winter dance and being outside, you know, I don't know how that'll look. I think it'll be interesting. So we don't know yet for sure. It is too I, wrong. I have a feeling that snow coming is going to be a challenge if we continue where we are now with COVID um, and restrictions with large groups indoors, just because the weather, we have it typically in January or February and it will likely be cooler. Um, so I doubt that we'll have an opportunity to hold it outside. So it'll just kind of depend on, I think, where things are with COVID. Um, I'm not in charge of prom, but I have heard that if they have prom, they'll likely host it outdoors as well.